Gabrielle Savitt uh, here. Uh, he is an actor, but he has also written a book, a very, a very interesting book. Uh, I haven't finished it yet, but I'm enjoying it a lot. And I think that he, he, he comes bearing interesting things to talk about, okay? And so I, I've, uh, the students have really enjoyed um, having him here, hearing him think and talk about various ideas. And so I, I think you're really going to appreciate this. So let's go ahead and give him a big amateur welcome for us. Hi, everybody. How's everybody doing? You doing good? How are you? Lunch is next, right? So that's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> so take your time. Exactly. Right. <laughs> um, so who, who reads books? Like, awesome. Great. Cool. Who reads books that they like and enjoy? Yeah. Oh, great. Um, <laughs> fantastic. I'm sorry, I'm going to call you out. Uh, go Blue. It's wearing a Michigan sweatshirt there <laughs> from Ann Arbor, Michigan. Um, born and bred there. <laughs> He's like, what? Um, <laughs> so my name is Gabrielle Savitt. I wrote this book. It's called Anna and the Swallow Man. It comes out on January 26th. I kind of like it. I hope that you will also kind of like it. Um, it is, well, the way I usually describe it, uh, I say it's a fairy tale that's set in Poland in the 30s and 40s. Um, that's kind of a compromise, but then talking about your own book, usually you make a lot of compromises. Uh, so it takes place in the 30s and 40s in Poland. The main character is a girl named Anna. She's seven years old when the book starts. Her father is a linguistics professor at the Jagiellonian University in Krakow. I uh, am very proud of myself for being able to pronounce that. I worked on it. <laughs> uh, so he's a linguistics professor and his deal is that he really, he really likes to talk to people in, in all the different languages that he knows and he teaches Anna a lot of those uh, languages as he goes along. Does anyone, does anyone speak a language other than English pretty well? Oh yeah, awesome. It's like kind of a lot of people. I actually, yo, hold on, I was just like, I was just looking at this poster. Um, <laughs> Uh, because this is like this is like kind of a thing that I'm really interested in, particularly in my book, but like in, in life too. So this poster says "Welcome" like in a whole bunch of different languages. Yes. All the we have some more kids coming. More kids. Hello, kids. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool, cool. <laughs> All right. Okay, thank you. Man. Yeah, yeah, no, no problem at all. Uh, <laughs> You managed to arrive like right when I was defacing school property. Uh, so, for you guys who are new, uh, I'm Gabrielle Savitt. I wrote a book. It's called Anna and the Swallow Man. This is it. It comes out on January 26th. It's my first book. I'm super psyched about it. Uh, it is. Uh, what did we say? It was a fairy tale uh, that it takes place in Poland in the 30s and 40s. It follows. A uh, girl who's seven years old at the beginning of the book named Anna. Her father is a linguistics professor. Um, and I was just, I was saying, <laughs> I just, I just like pulled this off the wall. Um, this struck my, my attention because it's, so it says welcome in all these different languages, right? Um, and I, as it happens, I, I speak some Hebrew and Hebrew's on here and it says Baruch Haba. And what that literally means is blessed are those who come, right? Which, for me, that's like way different from welcome, which is like, you have come well, congratulations. Um, and I, I'm, I'm really kind of interested in the way that the same things in different languages are super different. Um, and the, the sort of like negative space that exists between the languages and the way that the languages make us think about the world. <coughs> so for the new folks, uh, does anyone speak another language pretty well other than English? We have a whole bunch of other people. No new people speak languages, cool. 
Well, we'll work on that. Um, <laughs> in any case, uh, so yeah, that's 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 part of what's really interesting to me uh, in life and in the book. And um, so, Anna's father is is a linguist, and he enjoys talking to people and all the different languages that he knows. He teaches them to, to Anna when she's pretty young. Um, I actually, <laughs> one of the things that I really like doing as I'm like poking through the world is like looking for words that don't have like strong translations in other languages. Uh, my favorite example is from German. It's a word Wald in some kite, which uh, means the feeling of being alone in the forest, which I think is awesome. <laughs> like, <laughs> I kind of think there should be more words like that. Um, if any of you have examples, I want to hear about them. In any case, um, so Anna is seven years old at the beginning of the book. Her father is a linguist. Uh, he teaches her all these languages. And then uh, something very rapidly happens, which is, so in 1939, the Nazis have recently moved into Poland and they're occupying Krakow. And this is uh, a historical thing that happened. They instituted a, a program called Sonderaktion Krakow which uh, was in large part aimed at getting rid of the intellectuals uh, and the, like, the learned people, the thinkers in the city, um, in Poland in general. And so Anna's father is required to go to this meeting of professors and he, just, he doesn't come back. And he's left Anna with uh, a close friend of his, one of the people with whom he likes to speak in different languages for fun, a man named Herr Dr. Fuchsmann, who is a German pharmacist. And for a little while, he looks after Anna, but you know, it's 1939 in Poland. He doesn't have any identification papers for her. He doesn't really know what's going on. He expected her father to come back. And so eventually he has to say, listen, you should go home because I can't have you here. And so Anna goes home and she waits for her father there and he doesn't come. And uh, eventually she thinks, well, my dad thinks I'm at Herr Dr. Fuchsmann's shop. That's where I should wait. Um, and I'm going to read to you a little bit from the book about what happens when she goes back there. 